convenient way of getting around. <laughs> well, Facebook plans on making the metaverse a thing and is putting Facebook's future on the line just for that. More information right after this. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Willard and you are watching Tech7. So Mark Zuckerberg had an interview with The Verge and in this interview he talks about the future of the internet and the future of Facebook more importantly and one of those things he talks about is something called the metaverse. Now in case you don't know what the metaverse is, I got the definition for uh, you right here. I want to give you the exact definition of the metaverse and yes I know what the metaverse is. I'm not just looking this up because I don't know. I, I Oh my god, it's gonna look like I don't know. I do know what the metaverse is, okay? A virtual reality space in which users can interact with a computer-generated environment and other users. Now, this is an interesting approach for Facebook because last time I checked... No, oh, there's my own metaverse right here. <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> Now, this is an interesting take from Facebook, and the reason why this is so interesting is because, as you already know, Facebook does own Oculus, and they're already working towards something like this with something called Facebook Horizon. Now, I am, I'm actually in the beta for Facebook Horizon on Oculus Quest 2, and it's a absolutely stunning idea, very interesting idea, and the fact that your Facebook is integrated with it as well, you know, it's you can kind of tell what Facebook is trying to do here. They're trying to make virtual reality our reality in some sort of way. Now, in this interview, Mark Zuckerberg kind of describes the metaverse as something uh, where you're constantly connected, you know, to your surroundings around you. You know, a, a good example is um, when you pick up your phone and you look at your phone, you're instantly trying to see what messages you got to take a look at. And as he describes it, he, you know, he picks up his phone right away to see what action he has to take the moment he wakes up. And, and it's kind of like we're already, you know, connected to each other. And the way he sees it is if you have your phone, you know, it, you know, the phone is not the best way to stay connected. One of the reasons why he describes the need for a metaverse is because we're people that need interaction and we need some sort of, you know, interaction in front of us. Now, he, he, he went back in time and talked about how in middle school he wanted to uh, uh, do some, something where, you know, you'd be able to just teleport and be somewhere right away. He described all sorts of stuff. He, inside Facebook Horizon, you're able to teleport to different locations just as he describes and I think that's what he's trying to do. One of the things he also talks about is people you know actually working in this virtual reality in this metaverse um, and, and that there's going to be jobs and the interviewer is quick to dismiss that saying you know I don't think people would want to wear a virtual reality headset you know all day to work you know but that's kind of already happening believe it or not and you know in some cases they may not be wearing a virtual headset they may be working from a computer but still it's kind of already happening you see there's a game called alt space and there's also another game called uh, rec room and and uh, eve online all these games have actual virtual representatives that work for those companies that will moderate or, or, or you know you know ban people if they're doing anything wrong you know uh, alt space is a very good example alt space is owned by microsoft they actually hire people to work inside the virtual game moderating people inside the room and and you know you can go up to them and ask them questions you know and and facebook's another good example they also have this now i don't know if facebook's actually work for them or if they're volunteers i kind of feel like they work for them I'm not too sure but the last time i went on facebook horizon i asked you know what's the latest what has changed you know do they plan on adding more people these people were very well informed on the topic and and it's very interesting because technically facebook's already doing what they are wanting to do in the future zuckerberg reiterates that it's going to be possible to have people work in a virtual environment at the end of this decade And I think that's so cool and so interesting, you know, how he wants to implement this. And I think the key thing here is that, you know, Zuckerberg wants this done. He wants, he wants this metaverse to be a thing by the end of the decade. And that's a very quick goal. We've talked about many times on this channel about Apple working on its AR mixed reality headset or its Apple glasses, whatever it's gonna be. And honestly, that is where the future is heading. Now, this may seem like just another title of something that's unrealistic, no. Get ready, this is here, this is now, this is the future, and we're going to be living it pretty soon. So I wanna hear your thoughts. 
Do you think that you could see yourself living in this sort of metaverse, virtual reality, or, or where some way we're connected 24 seven to this internet? You know, do you think that's actually going to happen? And would you participate in that? Honestly, I would, but you always have to keep a conscious mind. You know, is this too out there? Is this too far? Personally, I'm a little worried that Facebook's the one that's wanting to do this. And he actually wants other companies to do their own metaverses too. But you know, I, I really do think it's, it's a hard decision because Facebook's already made some very controversial decisions on the Oculus Quest and virtual reality um, ads inside there, you know, connecting your Facebook account. But I, you know, I think it's scary for many reasons, but I think it's necessary and I think it's the future. I think many people are gonna love the metaverse, even though it's a very scary idea especially when Mark Zuckerberg is in charge. <laughs> Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was a very interesting topic, and it's very interesting how Facebook's putting themselves on the line uh, to say that the metaverse is the future. So, um, I don't know. Other than that, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you on the flip side. <laughs>